the woman kept hearing a strange noise coming from her floor, what she saw really scared her. Home improvement is a long, dusty, and tedious process for many people. However, this rather unpleasant job sometimes brings real surprises. Netizens have been sharing their finds that have been hidden under decorative layers on old walls or floors for years. Most of the time, it turns out that people don't even suspect that there are real treasures or creatures unknown to science. Live next to them. Young couple David Indiana Gonzalez from Minnesota made their dreams come true. They bought a house in Elbow Lake for $10,000. They hesitate a bit before buying because they worry about wasting money buying a house that cannot be repaired. During the remodeling, they once again struggled with doubts about whether they did the right thing. When they bought this house, after all, he was so old that he looked like he was about to collapse under the hammer of the refurbishment. The walls of this house are covered with logs for insulation. When the couple retrieved them, they found a 1938 comic book. As it turns out, this comic is the first to feature a new character, Superman. A celebrity to this day. David realized it had to be worth it and offered to sell it. I know it's worth the money, Gonzalez said. But I didn't know the Gonzalez had auctioned the comic for $100 and $75,000. A woman in Louisiana, USA, suffered for a long time because of the noise coming from under her floorboards. She didn't know what to think. At first, the noise was barely audible, but over time it became unbearable. So the woman decided to seek professional help. Jeff Horkoff, an expert on this kind of strange phenomenon, comes to the rescue. He put on a special suit and began to carefully disassemble the boards, lifting the board. Humans have found thousands of giant creatures below. Not a single one, but thousands of buzzing insects living on the floor. Jeff immediately realized that they were quite harmless. They are bees, and if handled properly, they won't hurt a person but can even be good for humans as they produce very tasty honey. Bees are strange but interesting creatures that like to settle in the most unusual places. Just look at how many beehives these little workaholics have created. It turned out that the bees got in through a hole in the ground. They loved this secluded place so much that they decided to make it their home. But in the end, there's a lot of noise that becomes too loud to ignore, especially at night. Jeff Horkoff said the swarm acts as a tight-knit community, in which each bee has a special mission for the benefit of the group. Just like monastic life, bees dedicate themselves to their communities and work together for a common goal. The reason I spend so much time looking for the queen bee is because she is the only bee in the hive that lays eggs. Queen termites can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day. I spent a lot of time looking for her because I didn't want her to get hurt. This is another story about insects. Two friends are removing part of a kitchen wall in a private house as part of their renovation project. While tearing apart one of the planks, they found the remains of a wasp nest. That the insects had to give up for the winter. And the following story is about a very strange discovery. To date, scientists have not been able to identify these mysterious creatures. A man named Tim Clark from New Zealand received a call from his mother, who told him she had found strange bugs in her kitchen, unlike anyone she knew. Of course, Tim couldn't ignore his mother's call and immediately went to her house to help take care of the unidentified creatures. When the man arrived at his mother's house, there were strange creatures on the kitchen floor, some still moving. Tim couldn't understand what they were, so he took some pictures. And made a video and then posted it on his social networking site. Sadly, his followers were also unable to help him because no one knew what kind of strange creatures they were. After reviewing the photos and videos, scientists at the University of Auckland say they are most likely fake. However, some experts believe it could be a new type of long-tailed worm. A young couple bought a house and decided to renovate the kitchen floor a bit after taking the old floor out, they found something unexpected. Under the floor there is a safe with a mechanical combination lock. The couple said the home had six other owners before them. Judging by its looks, the safe was underground for a very long time. Also about two months before discovering the safe, the woman was cleaning the house when she discovered a random note with a combination of locks. The couple immediately recognized it as this safe. They had to use force to open it. They only managed to open it on the third attempt. Inside the safe were eight stacks of $100 bills, when they counted all the bills, it turned out that there were $51,000 in the safe. There's also a six-year-old whiskey bottle with a tax stamp stating 1960. How do you like those finds? Luke Irwin is a carpet designer based in London. 
He lived in a private house and decided to equip the barn to play table tennis with his son. He hired workers to run the wires in the yard. While they were working, they found an intricate mosaic floor. Irwin called the city council and reported his discovery. Archaeologists say the house was built on the site of an ancient Roman villa dating from 220 AD. There are also stone structures in the courtyard, where geraniums are concentrated. According to the archaeologist later determined, these were indeed coffins. Insects must really enjoy living in the same house as humans. Or how else to interpret such finds? A couple living in Pinos Puente complained that they heard humming for a while. They even got used to it at one point. But one summer day, the couple noticed several bees getting into a hole in the wall. This gives them clues as to what is making the mysterious noises. They brought in experienced beekeeper Sergio Guerrero to confirm their suspicions. He examined the walls and concluded that the swarm numbered more than 80,000 individuals. It took Guerrero dozens of hours to pull the bees out of the wall and release them back into the wild. And that's all for people today. What do you think of the findings from today's episode? Have you ever found something interesting or mysterious? Let us know in the comments, like the video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next time.